the go home show for Elimination Chamber, so you know this one's gonna be fucking awesome, don't you? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the some more raw thoughts, you lucky lucky people. And I mean that not just to your lucky as in your lucky, 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 lucky people, because I should really be asleep right now. It's eight minutes past four. Raw's just gone off the air. Tomorrow I'm going to Manchester because I'm going to the Jim Cornette speaking tour, which I am so fucking excited about. It's unbelievable. I should really have gone to bed early tonight, but you you lucky people. I'm I'm, I'm giving you still giving you a raw review. It's one of those crazy things in wrestling, isn't it? This week, in the next week and a half, right? I'm seeing Jim Cornette tonight, and then Future Shock on Sunday, Elimination Chamber on Sunday night, and then next Friday I'm going to PCW, where AJ fucking stars is at. How fucking good is that? So, also, got to try and blast this one through as fast as I can, because I've started adding a, a, a program called Red Hot Core to my DDP Yoga, yeah? And I've started doing it on Saturday, did it for the first time. Get about halfway through it, yeah? And um, I felt this popping... I heard a pop, which was, it felt like my fucking hip had come out of its socket. And I have been in absolute agony ever since. Fun, oh, come on. Fun times, actually. So I'm going to have to get through this one as fast as I can, because genuinely standing up hurts, all right? So Raw starts off with Cena coming out. He talks about the chamber match and what it means. Then Orton comes out. Oh, so then he talks about Orton, who's lost to Seriously? Camera just doesn't want to stay still tonight, just to piss me off. Uh, he talks about... Talking about Orm, who's lost to Brian and Cena, and I go to my mention that he had, that he, hang on, he didn't mention Cesaro, because Cesaro beat Orm on C, on SmackDown, didn't he? But it doesn't matter, because here he is. He's going to be the new face of WWE, and he's going to be the new face of America. Then Seamus comes out, followed by Christian, they both say something and nothing. Orm comes out, he talks about each man, and here's Brian, so the public are doing his talking for him. Finally, here's Kane. He, the fans chant you sold out, Evan, and he's here to tell the six of them that he's in charge tonight. He makes Cena versus Cesaro and Christian versus Brian. And Christian versus Brian will happen right about now, and he's going to watch it from ringside. Brian wants some of Kane, but that means that Christian can pearl harbor him, to quote the OSW guys. Speaking of the OSW guys, has anyone seen their um, Barely Legal 97 vid? Do this for me if you haven't, right? Go watch it. Watch one. Watch it one match at a time. On another browser window, open my Bell Legal ninety seven video. Yeah? Very, very interesting perspective of it because they they've got very, very similar thoughts to what I thought. And bear in mind that my review was filmed what last April. Something like that, wasn't it? A long time ago. It's very, very, very good. It's, it's awesome to know that we've got such similar tastes in wrestling. But at the same time, what that's making me think is that I really want to film my Heatwave night. Because their next vid is... Jesus Christ, my fucking hell. Their next vid is... Right, all my weight is on my right leg. Let's do it like that and keep the fuck still. Uh, my... Their next vid, OSW's next vid, is Heatwave 98, right? My thinking is that I should watch that this week, right? Uh... Film my review and then put it in the vault somewhere. So it's like, my, all right, this didn't influence my vid, all right? I've got to do that. Same time, if I do that, then, then the vid they're going to do after that is um, is One Night Stand 2005, which I'll be doing next year. Oh, crazy. Anyway, um, Brian batters him at ringside, while, including whipping Brian into the ring steps. Christian heel it up is all good. In the match, Christian works the arm a lot. Tornado arm breaker being the highlight. Brian sells the arm the whole time. It comes into play when he goes to the yes lock. Can't get it on because the arm gives out, but then he counters the kill switch into a victory roll, which gets the win. Very good match. Enjoyed this one a lot. Then Kane says that Brian has to face him right fucking now. So Team Hell No explodes right here on Raw. Kane works the shoulder some more. Brian gets a few yes kicks, but then Kane knocks him to the outside and continues on the on the shoulder. So the referee disqualifies him. What I was kind of expecting here, as soon as he's in charge, for the night why doesn't he just pick up the microphone look did i not mention this no disqualification and carries on beating him but no that's that um yeah i like that good stuff a good opening i mean the opening segment did what it needed to do and that was a good match we see footage of henry versus uh, mark henry versus dean ambrose from last week and then renee renee young is with the shield and i'm too busy perving on renee to uh, listen to what the shield have got to what we've got to say and it's almost like my laptop goes hey stop that and crashes at that exact moment it's like 
Oh, good. I missed a match. As far as I know, Santino and Fandango in it. So I'm going to assume that I just would have got mad at JBL for not talking about Emma in the correct way. Reigns then defeated, uh, Roman Reigns defeated Mark Henry in a quick match. Henry's new t-shirt is fucking disgraceful, if you ask me. Wyatt's been on the screen. They cut a really good promo. Reigns gets on the mic and calls him out to the ring. And Wyatt Bray, Bray, Bray basically says, yeah, I was going to do that anyway. So they come out and we get another stare down, which is really, really good. And then the, the Wyatt's back down and there's big boost that. And he's like, oh, this is the one match Elimination Chamber that I cannot wait to see. In the back... Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Oh, that's me going way too far down. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust play with some WWE toys. Goldust lying about pulling off the wings off butterflies and gluing them into his gerbil to see if the gerbil can fly is both funny and creepy all at the same time. Is it not? They're interrupted by Wade Barrett, who smashes the toys. Why not? Eh? I keep stressing about the New Age Outlaws winning the belt, and WWE seem to enforce the point that it was a bad fucking call every time we see Cody and Gold, Cody Rhodes and Goldust. They were at Royal Rumble, they were champions, and now they're playing with toys and not doing anything else on the show. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, Jack Swagger defeating Kofi Kingston in an alright match after the Patriot locks. Then Big E defeats Mah Ginger Mahal, Drew McIntyre in a handicap match with Zed Coulter trying to put him off over the house mic using some cheap heat. Okay, I suppose he gets the job, gets the job done. It's good to see a feud over the Intercontinental Championship being on pay per view, but I still think that Big E Langston, sorry, Big E, sorry, is um is just another Intercontinental Champion who's doing absolutely nothing at all not bothered in the slightest about them dropping the langston bit incidentally i genuinely don't give a shit it's one of those things if you get vexed about it you've got too much time and if you get vexed about it remember some guy called rocky mayavia yeah you may have heard of him he, he, he you might i mean he's one of those he's a bit obscure for most people but he went on to become a guy called the rock how many people called him rocky mayavia once he became the rock how long was it after that that people stopped calling him rocky mayavia six weeks tops and you, how long after that did you call him The Rock? Think about it. Next, big an advert for the Elimination Chamber. I like electronic music. You all know that. I like trance. I like drum, drum, drum boats. Can tolerate a bit of dubstep. The Elimination Chamber music is fucking awful. Truly terrible. See it as Renee, 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 Renee Young. I'm, I just don't care what he's saying at all. He's just like going, looking at Renee going, God damn you're pretty. No, no, we're not. He repeats the promo from last week about youngsters going through him. And then Cena defeating Antonio Cesaro in what is probably the match of the year so far, in my opinion. Or at least on Raw, if nothing else. Half an hour net breaker by Cena is really, really nice. Long match, always good. Cesaro getting the majority. Same thing with Antonio. Don't care. Don't care in the slightest. Getting the majority of the offenses. Fall away slam into a cover as a thing of beauty. He counters the SGF into a gut wrench suplex. It's really nice. AA is counted into a big uppercut where she actually makes you think that's the finish, which is always a good thing, isn't it? Cam Cena counters the big swing into a sweet DDT. Really, really nice. Uh, second rope superplex from the outside is from Cesaro. It's really, really nice. Um, big swing gets two and is ridiculously over. They trade clotheslines before Cena rolls through a cradle into an AA for the win. Absolutely superb match. Really, really enjoyed this one. In the back, Randy Orton sucks up to Triple H before Batista calls him an ass. Why not? Eh? He then, he's then in turn interrupted by Del Rio, who says he's going to pull off Batista's arms. Batista then shoves him into a box or something. And you sat there the whole time going, yep, that's easy work if you can get it. Batista, his only appearance on the show, that's all he did. And you're like, wow, that's easy money. How much does he get paid per show, do you reckon? Um... Titus O'Neil shouts at Renee. He split up from, from Darren Young and faces Darren Young at Elimination Chamber in a special one of those special I couldn't give a flying fuck matches. Uh, the Wyatts defeated Sin Cara and Las Mustadors in a nothing match. And Uso defeating Billy Gunn, which is nice. Outlaws are still doing the babyface intro, which they the heels, so no idea. Because why the fuck not? It's probably the best reason we can give. And then in the main event, um, I just was there actually a finish? I don't know who won. Um, it was it was Sheamus versus Randy Orton. Bad fucking call. I, I suppose, as you know, right, I would have had Cesaro versus Cena here, but at the same time, we couldn't have had the big brawl that happened at the end. Bad supers through the announce table draws a holy shit chant. And you sat there watching it going, really? And then there's, there's three fans on the way home. Now, do you reckon those fans are going, oh my god, that super through the table is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Shut up. Holy shit, chance fucking hell. Anyway, all the chamber participants and the Shield and the Wyatts come out and we get a massive brawl. And just like that, when we're going to get into it, it goes off air. Like, right. <laughs> so I enjoyed 
Two matches, believe it or not, two matches were very good. We had no divas, so big tick to that. I think this, I think this show ticked all the boxes, is what we'll say. It was, it made. <laughs> I'm, I don't give a shit about Elimination Chamber. I, I'm only interested in one match, but I suppose to the majority of the public, it, it, at least it talked about the matches. All the matches that are on Elimination Chamber were featured on this show, so at least it did that. I'm in absolute agony, and I'm buzzing about Jim Cornette tomorrow, so I'm going to leave it at that. What did you think of Raw? Please let me know down below. My next video will be on Thursday, when I'm going to look at... There was the next Raw, after No Way Out in Texas, was, was the following Saturday after the show, and I'm going to look at that. All right, thank you so much for watching. I've been Mark P. Oh, one last thing, if anyone's still watching. My bids this month have made 90p a day. Thank you so much to the people who are doing what... Well, you know what you're doing. Oh, and yeah, lastly, one last point. Uh, my last vid, the No Way Out of Texas review last, on Saturday, had uh, WWE Network adverts on it. How good is that? Hey, I like that a lot. It's actually advertising that I actually want on my vids. Fucking brilliant. So, yeah, um, thank you so much for everyone who is um, doing that thing that I'm not allowed to say. And, um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Jim fucking Cornette!